Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's wanting to know how to do this. I think they've got it down, but they're just missing one step if I'm following them wrong right. I made a rectangle, I hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna take my text, I'm gonna make it white, and I'm gonna hit P. It's still selected, and I put it to the back of the or the front of the page so it'll show up. Now here's what I think he's doing wrong. You need to control K and basically twice on each word. That one's already broken, so we just need to control K, which is go to object and, well, it's uh, grayed out right now because I've already done the control K. So I think that's what the problem is. He's saying the letters are disappearing, or the drop shadow is. So what's happening, let's take the transparency tool and just, you've got to click on the, click on the individual letter. Now, click on the letter with your left mouse button. Click on the letter with your left mouse button. If you do not click on it, it'll change the original back. So you need to click, click on the new letter and you'll see the transformation docker kind of appear down at the bottom. When I watch when I do the next letter, watch right in here, you can kind of see the transformation docker open. And you'd want to do it, you know, uniformly and, and you know, maybe not so much. So you can still read the letter, but you need to click on the letter itself. Click on the letter itself. Because if you don't, it'll, it'll just, uh, it doesn't know what to do. And maybe went too far with that so we can span it out. And you could get into practice maybe going all the way to the end of the letter. That's how I do it. We don't, as a laser engraver, we don't very seldom ever get to do that. Now, if you find one you've messed up, you could always go back and make it look, you know, more even. But you've got to click on the letter. Anyway, that's a pretty cool effect. It looked really good on a print t-shirt with maybe different colors. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.